All right, guys, it is a beautiful day today and I'm here at Bootlegger Harley Davidson here in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I wanna show you something. I remember where it all started, right? It started with this, well, I didn't start with this bike, but I'm talking about my new Road Glide, my 2024 Road Glide. Let me show you this motorcycle right here. This, that's a street glide. This right here is the new 2024 Road Glide. Check it out, bone stock, black in color, that's black and chrome. Let me see if I can find one that's like mine. Oh, here it is. Here's one right here. Now this is black on black. Check this thing out. That bike is one nice looking motorcycle, right? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you my 2024 Road Glide and what I've done to it. Um, you know that I put the Olin's front suspension on it. I put the Olin's rear suspension on it as well. There's a couple other things that I've done to it that I wanna show you guys. And then we're going to, in this video, we're gonna take a visit to Olin's and I'm gonna let Joey tell you about the new suspension and you'll see him putting them on the bike. All right, so let's go outside and let me show you the bike and then we'll get into this, the rest of the video with, Ol with Olin's and what Joey did to my new motorcycle. Let's go. Here it is guys, my new 2024 Road Glide. So it looks a little bit different. You see that I changed the wheels in the front. Got the new Coastal Moto 21 inch wheels. Check that out. Far as I know, I haven't seen a new Road Glide with 21 on the front. So there it is, all blacked out. I just had to change the wheels. I wasn't a big fan of the wheels, how they were. What do you guys think? It was dirty. So I changed the wheels out. Got the big 320 rotors on it. Got the Harley Davidson flat out bar on it. Y'all saw that I went with the stage two. Got the heavy breather on the side. New cam from Harley Davidson, Screaming Eagle tuner, Screaming Eagle exhaust. But this is what I want to show you right here. Right here. The new Olings. Those things are nice. Check that out. Look at that, guys. So they have a different look than the other Olings. They, uh, I love the gold canisters, and they just have the, the oomph lop, I think, oomph la, oomph la. I don't know, Joey told me what it is. It's the uh, Swedish O. But anyway, has that right there. And you can see right where, right here, has O-lanes right there too. And this is aluminum cut where you adjust them you have the black hoses so it looks really good but it's not about looks but well, it is about looks too but it's about performance and handling Olin's on the rear Olin's on the front so guys let me know what do y'all think about it do you like the new look of the motorcycle all right guys it is a beautiful day today and we're here at Olin's in Hendersonville North Carolina. Now, Olin's is a Swedish company, but they have Olin's USA here in Hendersonville. Now, if you've watched the channel before, you know that I have Olin's on my bikes, and you might have seen, you might have seen this guy when he had, he had a little soul patch. He didn't even have, he didn't have the, he didn't have the full beard. What's going on, Joe? How you doing? Tall, it's great to see you, man. Great hey, to see you. When you guys told me that y'all had a brand new product that you're going to be releasing, I was like, I'm on my way and I'm ready to get this thing on the bike and I'm ready to show these guys what the new product is. Yeah, for so, sure. Do you want to tell them what the new product is? On yeah, the bike? yeah, might as well. Um, what we're offering or showing off today is 
basically a new version of the HD 044. It's the same, same shock internally, same magic that happens on, but it's now blacked out. Right. So it's a complete- Which is a good thing. Black yeah, black line series with a gold resi. And what's cool about it, it's got a lot of neat uh, bells and whistles on it that uh, you won't see on the HD 044. And another cool thing is it is gonna also be offered in not only a 13, but a 12 inch version as well. So that's pretty neat. So street glides come with 12s. Yep. Ultras come with 13s. Yep. And I know that a lot of people, when they, in the past, they would switch to the uh, Olin's suspension. They only had 13 as an option, right? Sure, the HEO 44 was only offered in a 13 inch version, but we listened to our customers. There's some shorter riders out there that did not want to go to a 13. So now we have the hose mounted resi version offered in a 12 inch version now. So that's big news guys, that's big news. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna get the 12 or the 13, I'm just kidding, you know which one I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the 13, He's right? getting a 13, he's yeah, not a short 13. guy. All right, this is our new black line hose mounted resi shock. Like I said before, it's gonna be offered in two different lengths, the 12 inch or the 13 inch. Right. The 12 inch part number is gonna be HD778. The 13 inch is gonna be HD779. See, the whole shock is blacked out. What's nice is we've listened to our customers. We now have a black hose. Yeah. Uh, which really, I think- It was silver before, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. It was a still steel braided silver yeah. line and uh, the black really gives it a nice touch. It's gonna to look good on that blacked out bike. Piece. It definitely will look yeah. good on, there, on your bike. Uh, another feature is the length adjustability nut is now anodized gold. What's cool is it picks up a billet aluminum compression knob. You'll see uh, the past model that was plastic, that's now aluminum. And if you see the gold resi, what's something cool now is we have the umlaut on the resi that kind of gives that nice little finishing touch. Before I start coming to Olin's, I said Olin's. Joey's like, no, nah, it's Olin's. It's Olin's, right? Well, it's the actual proper Swedish way of pronouncing it is Erlins, but oh, they the O with the two dots. They they call it an Er. Yeah, those two dots are known as umlauts. Um, umlauts. Yeah, but that that symbol gives an Er sound. So it's the proper Swedish way is uh -huh. Erlins, but okay. over here in the states we just say Olins. So you said it has the uh, the gold uh, adjustable nut down here. Yep. Yep. And the anodized gold resi right here? Yep, with the- uh, um, Umlau. Exactly. Yeah. The sticker as opposed to what's older style had the Olin's badge where it said Olin's. Now we just have the uh, the umlau or known as the Ur. Yeah. Uh, and then you have the aluminum compression uh, billet knob on the top. And the and the blacked out- Blacked out hose. Yeah. Uh, what's also nice is it comes with all the brackets to mount it on the rear of the bike. The uh, brackets are now branded. Oh, look at that. Let me show you guys this. Check this out. Right there. You see that? Is that focusing? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. On both sides too. Yeah. Inner and outer. Cool. Yeah, and these this model will work on 14 to current. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter if you have a tour pack or uh, aftermarket uh, uh, luggage rack or docking hardware. On certain bikes that do not come with docking hardware, you will use these smaller spacers. Right. But if you do have docking hardware, you will only use these uh, four spacers right here. And it all comes in this box right here. Sure. And the model number is HD779? For the 13 and HD778 for the 12 inch. All right. And they can go to their local motorcycle shop, parts dealer, or olins.com. Olinsusa.com. Olinsusa.com. And if you're at a rally, you can see this guy right here. Probably doing the install. Doing the install. So, uh, and if you also guys, just a side note, check out some of the older videos that we've done uh, together when it was back in 2020 or something like that. Oh God, I think earlier than that. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. check out some of those older videos. You'll, you'll see his beard was a lot shorter <laughs> and my hair, was, I didn't have so much gray, but, but anyway. But it, let's get into it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and install them. All right, sounds good.
Okay guys, now that we have the shocks installed, again, I'm just gonna go over the, uh, the new features of the HD779. Again, this is the 13 inch. As you can see, the shock is completely blacked out with the new blacked out hose. We have some gold accents here with the length adjustable nut that is now gold. Our compression knob is a machined aluminum billet piece that has a really nice feel to it. And then again, you're gonna have the uh, umlaut or the what's known as the ur on the back of the reservoir as opposed to the Olean's badge. Uh, I get a lot of questions out in the field. Why do you want a reservoir shock? Well, the advantages of a reservoir shock is you have a lot more oil in the system where if you didn't have the reservoir, you normally have a divided piston in here and you have the oil below it and the nitrogen above it. So you only have about this much oil in the system. In this shock, that divided piston is now over here. So I have the nitrogen on this side and look how much more oil I have in this system. Also, when I move the divided piston from over here to here, I can have longer stroke because I don't have to worry about the main piston hitting the separating piston. And when you have an ex, uh, external reservoir, you can put a valve, which then controls the compression. You do have finer tuning adjustability when you add a compression adjuster. So mainly you have three benefits of running a hose mounted resi. Again, that's gonna be more stroke, more oil and compression. Also, since you have these resis up in the air, it does cool the oil better as opposed to a shock that does not have a resi. One thing that's super important after you have the shocks installed is setting the shocks up for your weight scenario. You know, a shock that runs a one-to-one -one ratio, which these are, setup is critical. And the way we do this, we try to make it as easy as possible for you. You go to olinsusa.com on your cell phone or computer, you look up the particular shocks that you have and you go to the setup calculator. The setup calculator will ask you certain uh, questions about your weight, what's your riding scenario, whether you're riding the Geordie 1 up, 2 up, you can add your luggage weight or if you have a tour pack. All that information is critical to make sure it gives you the right setting to set your preload to make sure the bike is set up for you. So again, after installation, Go to olinsusa.com, look up the particular shocks you have. In this case, it would be the HD 779s. Go to the setup calculator, fill out all the parameters. It's gonna tell you exactly where to set the preload to make sure the bike is set up for you. The importance of setting your preload is setting the geometry of the bike based on the weight that's on the motorcycle. So that's why it's so critical to set your preload because you wanna make sure the geometry is correct for the weight that's being applied to the motorcycle. Where preload affects geometry, your rebound and compression control the quality of the ride. So some riders like to have a more sporty, aggressive feel. You would close these valves off to give you more hydraulic control to give you a more aggressive feel. Somebody that wants it more compliant or more supple, you would open these valves up to give you that more supple feel allowing the oil to flow easier. Preload geometry, compression, rebound, quality of the ride. Man. Man. What do you think? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Look at this, guys. I just I'm... think just think it looks so good with everything being blacked out. It just oh, makes yeah. those resis look like they're floating back there. Oh yeah, it looks so good. It looks so good. I love the Olin's gold. I love the blacked out hoses on it. That just looks so cool. It's hanging like on jewelry there. for your motorcycle. Yeah. This right here is the first modification that I've done to this new bike with the, how many miles do I have on it now? 315 miles on it. And now no, let, no, don't get me wrong. The shocks on it were so much better than the previous shocks on the other street glides and road glides. If you want some HD 779s for yourself, make sure you visit olingsusa.com or again, see Joey at the rally. I ride Olings on everything. All my motorcycles have Olings on it and I just, I think they're the best. You saw the back and if you didn't watch the front video, then check that out. It should be in the playlist. All right guys, so what do you think about it? You see the bike, you see what I've done to it. You see the upgrade that they did at Olings. 
I will be giving you a full ride review because I haven't really had this in, a, in a, on the twisty road since I had the new suspension put on it or the new engine upgrade. So, uh, or the new wheels. But we're gonna be, oh, also turn the mirrors upside down too. You guys know how I roll. I don't like the mirrors on top of the bars. But y'all let me know what you think. We'll probably, uh, you'll probably see the next video with a full review of this motorcycle and this current state. And I appreciate everybody who watches this channel. Guys, thank you so much. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Keep gliding. As always, have a blessed day.